Right, here we're going to investigate um, the relationship between a straight line and the normal to that straight line. I, a normal is a right angle, a line that's at right angles to the line that we have. So this here is the equation of this line that goes from minus 2 naught and minus 1, 3. Now what I'm going to do here is at this point I'm going to use the program to draw in a normal. So here's the normal to this line. And the program fortunately also allows me to put in the equation of that normal. Now let's have a look at the relationship between these two. We can see here y equals 3x plus 6 is the equation of this line and y equals minus 0.33x plus, minus, uh, plus 0.666. So this is minus one third and this is two thirds. Now let's just change one of these points until we get another nice set of values. Notice here this is y equals x plus 2 this is y equals minus x, minus 1.2. And here we go. Notice this one is y is a third x, and this one is minus 3x. Let's just think about that. If we think about it, along here, we go the change in x is 3, and the change in y is 1. Now, if we go at right angles of that, then we create a situation where actually we're going to get a change in x going down here. Let's just, just try and move this point to somewhere nice. Let's go there. Let's change in x is going to be 1 that way and the change in y now is down by 3. So therefore we're going to have um, where you've got a positive gradient in this one we're going to get a negative gradient in that one and also the x's and y's get reverse. So let's just now think about what that means. So if we think about the fact that we've got our line here and this line here it's supposed to be at right angles. Let's have another go and see if we can do a little bit better than that. So let's see if we can draw this at right angles or roughly right angles to that. So therefore this here is our x change. We're just going to use a little delta to mean del change in x and it's our change in y. Now what's going to happen is this value is going to be the same as this value on here delta y and this value here is going to become the same. Uh, so therefore the actual line here we have gradient of delta y over delta x As, so the gradient is delta y over delta x and for the normal we have delta, change in y is now delta x over change in x which is now delta y. These have been reversed and this is negative. That one's positive, this one is negative. Now if we times these two together we can see that if we cancel the delta out y with delta out y, so that leaves you 1. Divide both by delta y, you get 1. Divide delta x by delta x, you get 1. Divide delta x by 1. So you're left with 1 times minus 1 is minus 1 over 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So that gives you that the fact that the um, gradient of the line, so say, say the line is m1 and the normal is m2, then you're going to get m1 times m2 equals minus 1. So or alternatively, the gradient of the normal, m2, equals minus 1 over the gradient of the original line. And we can use that to solve questions such as where you're asked to find the normals to any lines that you have.